When we last reviewed the 2019 Chevrolet Malibu in RS trim, we concluded by saying, if Chevy wants to keep selling Malibus in the coming years, it will need more than a revised grille and exhaust tips, or it will end up in the graveyard of forgotten sedans, next to the Fusion. We were off on our timing. In 2024, the Malibu is still listed on Chevrolet's retail website, it's the only car. However, its fate was inevitable. At the start of this month, the Detroit News reported that the Malibu will soon disappear from the page, with GM deciding to retire it this fall. This decision comes even though the Malibu was Chevrolet's third best-selling vehicle last year, only trailing the Silverado and Equinox. GM is preparing the Fairfax assembly plant, which builds the Malibu, to start producing the all-new Chevrolet Bolt. For its final year, the Malibu's order guide shows small price increases for the two lower trims. Without including the destination fee, which is currently $1,095 and might remain unchanged, the pricing for the 2025 lineup compared to 2024 is as follows, Malibu LS at $26,895, up $700, Malibu RS at $27,895, up $800, Malibu 1 LT at $29,195, and Malibu 2 LT at $32,595. These prices still make the Malibu more affordable than mid-size competitors like the Honda Accord, Hyundai Sonata, Nissan Altima, and Toyota Camry, though Chevy's lack of updates makes it an affordable and inoffensive choice. Looking at what's new for next year, the changes are minimal. Until Chevrolet announces something official, the keyless entry pad will feature an all-new vertical design that won't be available at the start of production, and a new exterior color called Nightshade Metallic will join the palette, likely replacing mosaic black metallic. And that's about it. The 2025 Malibu reportedly starts production today, so if you're interested in owning a future classic, everything old becomes a classic these days, a 2,900 mile 1985 Chevy Chevette CS Coupe, anyone, you should contact your Chevy dealer in a few weeks.